we're at Bull's Head. Um, it's actually named the coal loader, this part of Bull's Head. On this rock platform, there's a, uh, it's supposed to be a whale engraving, but more recently we think it's a shark engraving. So you can see the, the outline of the shark, and there's also uh, spiritual figures on the rock platform as well. So there's an engraving inside it that either looks like a horse or a dog or something. So it could tell a story about a dog getting taken by a shark. Yeah, um, no one knows. That's the problem with all the sites on the North Shore. It's pretty well protected with a boardwalk opposite it, so people can view it without walking on the rock platform. In fact, it's actually illegal to actually walk on a rock platform with an Aboriginal engraving. In North Sydney Council area, there's probably about 67 sites left of importance. It's pretty complex what we look at. It just depends on uh, the environment. Sometimes near the coast, uh, sandy areas, could be away from the coast with um, rock shelters, um, overhangs. Um, in this little shelter, there's a number of little stencils. There's a little hand stencil of a kid up here. Uh, a little bit bigger here, you can see the finger outlines. And there's also fish stencils, there's one there, one there, and you can see another one here, but there's probably another half a dozen in here that have just faded a lot. So it's all done in white ochre. So you put your hand up against the wall and spit the ochre in. And then remove your hand, you've got a stencil like that. Some of these um, art, art sites are really hard to actually spot. This one's been so low, um, people won't even realise there's art, Aboriginal artwork in there, and being so close to the city as well. But any rock shelter with an overhang, um, it's really wise to have a look, let your eyes adjust for a couple of minutes, and then look at the face of the shelter, and even on the top, on the roof of the shelter. There's thousands and thousands of engravings in the Sydney area. It's the largest rock art gallery in the world. And uh, you think about how much money you'd spend on trying to protect each individual site. It's just money the government won't, won't hand out.